I don't know what I just saw. What's up, Nation? It's your boy, ETCW, World Heavyweight Champion. Yo, the world, Craig. Shit, not just the city, the world. The Jersey Jackass, your boy, B to the C. Hit me up on all social media, at Real Jackass BC, R-E-L-J-A-C-K-A-S-S-B-C. Don't forget to follow Cinelinks at Cinelinks. I just saw a cat. I don't know what that was. Look. Tonight, cats compete for the chance of a new life. It's party time. Here we go. <laughs> That's what I say to you. <laughs> Cross pause. I'm obviously the best. Don't mess with the crazy cat lady. <laughs> Cats. I love it. In Cinemas Friday. Uh, all right. So, Cats is about a competition for cats? Idris Elba is a bad cat? He takes other cats in the competition? And Dame Judi Dench is the cowardly lion. All right. All right, so it's directed by Tom Hooper and obviously based on the musical, which should be right up my alley. I love musicals. I know, it's weird. I just, I do. Big guy, likes musicals, whatever. Shut up. And it stars Francisca Hayward, James Corden, Dame Judi Dench, Jason Derulo, Idris Elba, Jennifer Hudson, who I just found out is no longer with David Otunga. Makes me sad, I'm saying. Ian McKellen, I feel like he just kind of walked on the set and just started, you know, doing things and they just went with it. Tay-Tay, T-Swizzle, love Taylor Swift. Rebel Wilson, Les Twins, Lori Davidson, and Ray Winston. All right, so I legit have no idea what this movie was about. I don't know what was happening, 90% of it. All I know was I was oddly turned on by cats. And I also know that up until Taylor Swift shows up in the third act, I thought the main cat was Taylor Swift. Sorry, Tay-Tay. But then T-Swizzle shows up, and I'm like, oh, wait a minute, that's T-Swizzle. Who is this girl? So this girl, Francesca Hayward, uh, this is her first movie ever. And she's really good in it. That's one thing I will say about it. The performances are absolutely incredible. While I may not have any idea what the crap was going on throughout the entire thing, I can say I was really enthralled by everyone's performance. And the CGI... Look at the, I, I guess they did motion capture. I'm not exactly sure. It is really creepy, like insanely creepy and awkward. But the cats themselves, while they look creepy and weird, they kind of worked and they looked good for what it was or what they were trying to do. It looked pretty good. And while, and some of the music numbers, some of the music numbers were really good. I really enjoyed a lot of the music numbers. Randomly, James Corden, uh, I feel like he was just filming uh, segments for his show and they were like, hey, these are really good. Can we put them in the movie? So that's where my problem with the movie comes is I feel like it was just a bunch of random stuff. Like I said, I honestly feel that Ian McKellen just kind of walked on set, grabbed a tail and was like, I'm part of this now. And they were like, all right, cool. Welcome, man, you know. And look, Dame Judi Dench is a G. She's one of the best of all time. I mean, like that's that's M. But seeing her literally look like the Cowardly Lion is really off-putting and awkward. And Idris Elba, too. He's really good, but again, it's it's weird to watch. It's such a, I don't, I honestly don't know how I really feel about the movie. I don't know if I like it or I don't like it. There were things that were good about it, and then there was stuff that I just flat out didn't get. And maybe because I'm not the target audience for that, but going into it, like, I was like, okay, I'm going to understand this. I'm going to be able to get it. It's, it's, it's going to be weird, but I'm going to get it. And that, I didn't get that at all. I did not understand the film. I did not know what was going on. I think they were trying to win a contest to die. I don't understand. I think that's wrong. So I don't know. I found myself enjoying parts of it, but then being really bored through a lot of it. Uh, just being able to go, oh, that's a good performance. I wish I knew where we were going with this and what was happening. Even at the end, like things don't wrap up. It just kind of happens. Well, like, it was odd, but I will say it is something that I think you need to go see. I think you need to experience this because it's a weird, weird experience and it's something you, if you like musicals, you might enjoy this. I feel like if you saw Cats, 
maybe you're gonna like this because uh, you'll understand it. I mean, Cats the musical. Not, I mean, not if you see the movie, you definitely enjoy. It. If you've seen the musical and you like the musical, then you're probably gonna, you might enjoy this because it feels like it was like just literally the musical put into a theater or put into a screen on screen. All right, let's let's go ahead and score this thing. All right, so I'm gonna give Cats two point six out of five. But what say you? Uh, are you excited for Cats? Were you creeped out by the trailer? Uh, do you love Taylor Swift as much as I do? Should I go talk to a therapist because I was turned on by the Cats? I should talk to a therapist. Whatever you think, comment down below. Give this video a thumbs up. Hit this little subscribe button over here. Click that bell so you can get notifications for all of our videos. Follow me on all social media at RealJackSBC. R-E-L-J-C-K-A-S-S-B-C. And don't forget to follow at Cinelinks. And until next time, happy holidays. Bye.